Hey, this is Abacus, and today we're playing Team Fortress 2, that game you actually subscribe to this channel for. And today we're going to be playing Medic, not just any Medic, we are going to be playing Crossbow Medic, uh, as in a Medic who relies almost exclusively on the crossbow to heal and then build Uber, because recently, you know, kind of recently, it's been a while, the crossbow was buffed so that you can gain Uber from your shots. And there are some people on the internet and some people on the Steam Powered User Forums who are saying that you can uh, almost exclusively rely on the crossbow now because it actually outheals and outubers the metagun. Uh, assuming you hit all your shots, you will heal your teammates quicker and you'll build uber faster than if you did the same thing with the metagun. So I, I didn't think this was likely, so I decided to try it out, and the first thing I noticed is that unlike real medic or that was that was that was rude unlike actual medic you need to really focus on your accuracy a lot you really can't miss shots i miss shots all the time in this video but i'm not going to diss the playstyle for that because that that exclusively could just be me but i i was finding that i had a very difficult time landing regular shots and that you know is is hurting my ability to build uber because Unlike a metagun, which just sits there and heals and heals and heals. Oh, and, yeah, see, this other thing kept happening with these dumb skirmishes, because you needed to, in order to be a good crossbow medic, you needed to stay back from your teammates. You didn't you didn't want to hug them, like, with a real metagun, because uh, your bolts deal more damage the longer they fly. So I, I was constantly hiding in the back, and so I had to keep an eye on spies for myself, and I never really had a pocket. And, and that would cause these silly events to happen, where a spy would show up, but I'd have to fight him myself, because there's nobody else around. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't healing anybody in a way that they could recognize, so I don't I don't even blame my teammates for not noticing when I'm under fire, because I wouldn't notice if some crossbow medic on the other side of the map was assaulted by anything. Um, and another thing that kept bugging me that I noticed was that I couldn't tell how much Uber I had left. Um, because when you have the crossbow out, it shows you how much crossbow ammo you have left. So there were times where it went really well. I'd, I'd consider this clip to be probably a pretty good example of crossbow medic going well. Because I'd been able to keep everyone healed, I could pop the Ubers when I needed to. Um, but sometimes I just didn't notice that I had Uber. And this next clip is going to be a great example of that. Uh, it'll take a while to get there. But basically, I was just shooting people with the crossbow. Um, there were a lot of times that this didn't work, but I had a feeling that that was due to my accuracy and not due to the playstyle. In itself, I figure somebody who played crossbow medic for hundreds and hundreds of hours and never misses their crossbows would, would do slightly better than I would. But they'd have another major problem that a metagun medic wouldn't have to deal with, and that's that if you die, you drop your worthless crossbow and not your metagun. See, with the new gun, with, with the gun metal update, and you drop a metagun, it retains its uber charge. So if you're running around and you die with your metagun, no big deal. If you can get back to it within 30 seconds, uh, you can just resume where you left off, and that's never going to happen if you're holding the crossbow. And it, it caused a couple of annoying instances where I was cornered by enemies, and I had to decide, alright, do I fight back, or do I stand there with my metagun out, let them kill me, and then just try to get back to my metagun? Now, that, that's not a decision any different from the one that you have to make if you're a metagun medic, but you, you kind of get to make that decision for free if you get attacked and you weren't prepared for it. Now, that's Probably. not to say that there aren't situations where a crossbow medic is infinitely uh, more, I don't know, useful than a metagun medic, and one of them is coming up. I managed to keep this heavy from dying for a ridiculously long time, and I didn't I didn't even do a halfway good job. Um, Especially... Like, I, I, I miss maybe 50% of my shots, and part of the reason for that is me, but the, another part of the reason for that is simply that... You know what? Crossbows are not hit scan. They wow. have arc, they okay. have gravity, they have travel time. And when you're a crossbow medic, it becomes a lot more difficult to hit what you're aiming for because you're really far away from your teammates. And I don't I, I don't know if teammates are lag compensated. I know that enemies are, where where Valve will kinda nudge the numbers in your favor if they think that lag had something to do with you missing the shot. I don't know if that happens with teammates. 
Uh, I know it doesn't happen with teammates in regards to Jurati and Madno, which is why if you use those two weapons, it's a lot more difficult to extinguish teammates than it is to, you know, coat enemies. So I don't, I, I don't know if the crossbow uh, retains lag compensation on teammates. Get a life and do something useful oh, with it. It, from what I can see, it, it really might go either way. But either way, it, it did become difficult to land a hit on a heavy, the biggest class in the game. He's got a huge hitbox, and I just, I don't know, I was missing a bunch of shots. But just the few shots I was making was, was enough to keep him alive for, for way longer than he probably would have if I'd had a metagun. Because, I mean, I've been in that situation before, standing in front of the dust bowl, dust bowl doors, just you in your pocket, and... Let's see, that soldier right there, I, I would have probably died right there. The, you know, Come the heavy on, died too, Paco. so... I don't know, the, 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 the whole bit that you're staying back, playing very passively. Um, I, I think ultimately one of, the, one of the big things about Crossbow Medic is that you need to be able to justify your existence with your numbers. And what I mean by that is, if you play a round of Crossbow Medic and you don't heal anyone for all the reasons I've given, or bad luck, or in some way, shape, or form, it doesn't go well, you've really got to put that on yourself. Because you, your entire justification for existing is how much healing you can do with your crossbow. If you're playing a metagun medic, you don't have to worry about that. Just by existing, just by overhealing your teammates, which it is physically impossible to fail at doing, you, you have justification for being on the field. You're overhealing a guy. You did it. Thanks for being a credit to team. And you don't get that with a crossbow medic, because the crossbow doesn't overheal. And to be honest, if I have to think of what metagun the crossbow reminds me of, I'm reminded of the quick fix when it first came out. The, the, the quick fix when it first was added to the game, its downside was that it could not overheal. In return, it built uber faster than the metagun, and uh, it had a pretty decent uber charge, Take I guess. Fast. But and then the you know That's the crossbow is right. kind of like that too. It, it so yeah, you know, after a while this next clip I, I use the uh, amputator almost exclusively. So I want to give that a try too. In the same update, clear. Valve made it so that the amputator oh. can gain uber charge. But holy cow, does it build uber really <laughs> slowly? Um, I I don't know if. If, if I've been surrounded by, you know, eight teammates all at one HP, I might have built uber faster, but that's well, that frankly quick. never going to happen. I don't know if we're going to So I, I don't think way. Amputator Medic is ever I'll going to become a valid playstyle. Also, the amount of times I died while doing that damn pump. Well, the Crossbow Medic I'm, I'm a little more favorable towards, but I really don't think it compares to hey, Medic. Um, I tried it on Koth for a while, King of the Hill, tried to see if I could get some, some good clips from a mode where you're rapidly switching from offense and defense. Because these Dust Bowl clips, I'm able to exclusively play one role. Like right here, I'm an offense medic. I'm trying to keep teammates alive as they throw themselves into the meat grinder. And the left house is down. It, it, it didn't work nearly as well right as defense house. medic. I think crossbow Wait, medic kind of has to be a defensive class. Because for one thing, uh, TF2 maps aren't really designed for the offense to have huge sight lines. In that last clip where I was healing the heavy, I was able to stand back because it's defense. We control the map. And in cough, I just couldn't get anything done. Um, every every time I tried to get in there, get to the point, or even heal the people on the point, I wasn't healing them enough to justify my existence, and they were getting mowed down too quickly. Um, so if you are going to play crossbow medic, I'd recommend the uh, uber saw because you're going to need a way to defend yourself, and the amputator, quite frankly, wasn't cutting it. Um, the healing it gave was definitely not worth it, even even when Valve fixes the healing bug. The amputator's bugged at the moment. Um, I want to say it was during Gunmetal that Valve updated um, the medic so that he could regenerate faster if he's healing someone while wounded. And while that was a straight buff, so I'm certainly not complaining, um, it caused an unfortunate side effect that where everything in the game that does regular healing, and by that I mean the Amputator, the Conjurer, and the Cozy Camper, they all develop the same thing where they all build their healing slower at the beginning, and because none of those are capable of healing teammates traditionally, they, um, 
they just stayed that way. So th those have all been glitch nerfed, and I'm really hoping Valve fixes it at some point. But, for the time being, even if the amputator healed correctly, you're just, you're too vulnerable if you don't have the uber saw because you're gonna be you're gonna be attacked by spies and, and scouts and dumb stuff while you're hiding in the back plinking people with your medieval weapon and the amputator which takes three non-critical hits to kill a 125 hp class isn't gonna cut it and like it's only upside which is being shown right here i'm healing everybody on the point it, 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 it's just not worth it. Use the Uber saw. But frankly, I, I, I kind of want to say don't use the crossbow medic playstyle at all. Because while you, you may kind of feel useful landing those 100 and, uh, 150 HP regeneration points from really far away, um, you, you probably would have been more useful getting in there and just healing somebody at a slower rate. And more importantly, overhealing them when combat's not happening. Because as a crossbow medic, you're pretty useless if combat's not happening. Assuming everyone's healed, and not like right here where nobody's healed and everybody needs healing. And I'm being really slow about that. I think the playstyle will work a little better than how I'm showing it in these clips. If you combine it with using your metagun at close range. So kind of don't just completely ignore it like I do. But I didn't want to do that in these clips while I was testing it out because it, it felt like more of a hybrid class, like hybrid between regular medic and crossbow medic. I'm trying to show the crossbow class. Not to mention every time I switched to my medic gun and started healing with it, I wanted to keep healing with my medic gun and it felt like I was nerfing myself when I switched away from it to start clinking with the crossbow again. It just takes so much focus healing with the crossbow. Like, making sure that you're healing people. Something that comes for free with the metagun. You don't have to worry about it. It just happens. I just found that it was giving me this weird tunnel vision where I was less aware of what was going on around me and how the battlefield was going because I was just focusing too much on trying to hit people with this long-range gravity-affecting projectile that kept hitting the wrong person because someone got in the way of my shot. Ultimately, when it comes to healing, I think the crossbow does a better job filling the niche that Valve originally designed it for, which is occasional long-range healing or special situations, but for the most part, relying on your metagun to do the majority of your work. So that's pretty much my 10 cents on the playstyle. 